welcome to my channel. It's a wonderful plan. I'm Tina. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I am going to be putting together my fall bucket list. Now, um, I joined the seasonal bucket list challenge and it is actually the challenge is actually been created by the happy planner squad and I first saw it on Morgan's page planning done right and I will definitely go ahead and link that down below you can um, take a look at that or you could always go to my Instagram page and I will also have the information on there and what the challenge consists of is that um, you create a fall bucket list and then you put that on your Instagram stories and then every time you do something from the bucket list, you wanna go ahead and post photos of that in your stories and then create a highlight to save all of those stories too. So that way anybody could find the highlight and they could take a look at that and see all of the things that you did for fall. It's pretty exciting. Fall is actually my favorite season. So of course I had to definitely join this challenge because fall is my favorite season. So what I did here was I picked out some things to create my fall bucket list. Now, the items on my bucket list, I just jotted them down on a piece of paper here, and they include uh, drink pumpkin spice latte coffee. I love pumpkin spice. Um, decorate for Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Uh, <clears throat> visit a pumpkin patch. Carve a pumpkin. Drink hot apple cider. Take a drive to view fall colors. Take pictures of trees changing. Uh, celebrate Halloween, like I said, my favorite holiday. Uh, watch a scary movie. Pick a Halloween costume. Haunted house. A hayride. Now, everything on here I pretty much do every year, no matter what. Um, the hayride will be new. I've never done a hayride. I don't know. It sounds kind of funny that I haven't, but I haven't. So we'll see if we'll be. I'll be able to uh, check that off my bucket list. Fall actually starts. September 23rd and it runs through December that's right you heard me December 20th so fall at the first day of winter is December 21st now I feel like fall ends on Thanksgiving Day like fall is over on Thanksgiving Day as far as I'm concerned um, after that then it's just all Christmas um, so I, that's what the calendar says but <clears throat> In my mind, fall is like, okay, fine, September 23rd, but definitely through and ending on Thanksgiving Day. And then um, right after that, then Christmas will start up. And I'll be honest, I don't wanna hear or talk or see Christmas music, Christmas decorations till like the day after Thanksgiving. And that's just who I am. Um, fall stuff, however, was super excited when I saw it. I think they started bringing it out in like, I don't know, I think it felt like it was like early August, late July, I don't know. It's kind of a funny story. I was on the phone with my husband and I was walking into Michael's and there was like all the fall stuff and I was like, oh my God, all the fall stuff's out. I got really excited. Um, I don't get that excited when I see all the Christmas stuff out early. But anyway, that's just me again. Um, probably because Halloween's my personal favorite holiday and um, it's in October right in the middle of fall so there you go some of the things that I'm going to be doing to create this fall bucket list what I personally like to do is I like to use a blank sticker sheet or I will grab a piece of wax paper and I will go ahead and look through my sticker books and just pull stickers that I really like. And this just sort of helps me kind of um, brainstorm as far as like how the spread will come together. And I do this pretty much for weekly spreads, monthly spreads, any kind of you know pages I'm creating. It just kind of helps me um, have everything in on one sheet and sort of see how it comes together. So that's what I started to do here. I did grab some stickers for my fall bucket list and um, that's what you see here. Now some of the stickers that I'm going to be using are going to be coming from the Wrong Wrong Seasonal sticker book. 
the Happy Memory Keeping Holidays sticker book, the uh, Happy Year, and dates and holidays. Okay, and then I also have some couple of sticker pads here, holidays and seasons, the sticker pad, and then the wrong, wrong seasonal sticker pad. So that's where I am pulling stickers from for this bucket list. And then I might be using some colorful boxes as well. I'm going to see um, how this plays out. I realize that I'm going to need more than just like one sheet of paper because I got a pretty long list and what I decided to do was create a double list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these pages together. Now, this is the first time that I am personally doing this. I have seen this done before. I think the first person I saw actually connecting the pages together like this was um, at home with Kita. And I've seen other planner videos of um, some of the girls doing this. Um, and I figured, you know what, this is the perfect opportunity for me to try it, and that's what I'm going to do. Now, I am going to be using some washi. The best way for me to do this that I found out, because I did do some practicing, this isn't the first time I'm doing it, I wanted to practice it a little bit, was um, to actually, I'm going to open up this washi. This washi's a little, it's really sticky in places, and it's, um, Let's see, hopefully it, it will cooperate. I'm kind of opening it up kind of big because this part sort of lost its stickiness. So what I'm gonna do is, first when you do this, you wanna be sure that um, the page, you wanna make sure you adhere the washi to the right side of the page. So this particular page, this one's going to be going into the planner. So I want to uh, adhere the washi onto the back side here. And I decided to use this orange paper because I figured it was perfect for fall. I was thinking about using white paper, but I'm like, why? This is perfect, I love it. And then it's got this dot grid on here, which is kind of nice because it helps um, it helps keep things, uh, lay things down straight. So I'm gonna do this. It's sort of hard for me to see from this angle, but I think it'll work out. And I wanna line it up so it is, ah! It worked out. Okay, I wanted it to be like even. Okay, so that way when I flip it over onto the other page, and you'll see what I'm talking about, it'll work nicely. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the washi. Okay, now this is where the tricky part comes because I really want the, these pages to look very seamless. And um, the best way that I found was just to kind of like look at it from this side. That way I could line it up and really see it. As opposed to like putting the pages together and then taping them. Um, that looks pretty good. Okay. So I'm just gonna press down. That looks pretty seamless, I think. I think I'm happy, which is half the battle, because if I'm not happy, then it bothers me, because I can be very particular with things. Okay, so now I'm gonna fold this over and just create this nice fold here. Okay, awesome. It worked out perfect. Okay, so, so far I am happy. Now, the next thing I need to do is get rid of the hole punches on this side here. So I'm going to pull out my Fiskars paper cutter. And make sure you cut the right side, okay? So this is going into the planner. This is the page that's going to flip over. So this is what I'm going to be trimming off. Now, I don't want to trim off a lot of it. I just really want to um, trim it off so it's just like the punches are gone. So that's the nice thing, again, about the dot grid on this paper is that you can really use that to your advantage. And 
I like that. So I'm going to slice those guys right off just like that. Get that out of the way. So now, oh, look at I like it. I'm very excited. Okay, so now I'm going to open up and work on the inside here. Now, let's take a look here. What I decided is that when I do things, I sort of like things to be very balanced and pretty symmetrical. So I really liked these stickers here, Fall Bucket List and then Hello Fall, and I want them to be right in the center. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do next. I'm gonna put these down. I want this one to be on the top. Now, I do realize that it's going to be on the crease and the stickers will be folded in half, you know, but I'm okay with that. And I'm turning this around just so I have a little bit better um, view so I can get this on properly and straight and even. Let's see here. Um, So what I did was I sort of folded the sticker in half so that way I would know the halfway point of the sticker itself and then I laid that on the crease um, and I think that that is nice and centered in there. Now I really like this one here, the Wrong Wrong, and I got this one from the Wrong Wrong Seasonal Sticker Pad and um, I'm going to lay that one next. I'm sorry, I forgot where I got that one from. I think it might have been from one of the squad books, I think, possibly. Hmm. So I'm gonna sort of do the same thing here with this one because the sticker will be folded in half anyway because it's gonna land on the line. So I'm just gonna kind of fold it in half. That way I can get a nice like center point. There. I think that looks good. All right. Yay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is cover up my brilliant ideas because I don't want those there. So what I had found out, I wanted to cover them up with a sticker and I wasn't quite sure which sticker to use. So I got lucky and I found in the Happy Memory Keeping the Holidays one, these, I put a little tab here. Um, these stickers right here are big enough, and that's where this one comes from. So I pulled this one out already. And now with this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fold the sticker in half because it actually covers that up perfectly. I went ahead and I measured it out to be sure. I'm trying to get better with measuring things. I'm so bad with that. I eyeball things a lot, and then I'm disappointed when um, they don't work out the way that I think they're going to. So I had been trying to measure things much better ahead of time. Now I'm gonna cut this in half and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to do that. Now whenever you use your knife, be sure to use a metal edge because if you use anything plastic, you will slice the plastic. So just a word of advice because I have already done that. So just to give you a little tip. All right, so there we go. And then I'm going to hopefully, I like the way this looks. I think I will be happy with it. Let's see. I'm going to turn this around. It's just easier for me to see. Okay, so I think that I'm going to like that. I hope that I like it. I don't know if I'm <clears throat> loving it just quite yet, but we'll see what happens. So now I want to um, create kind of like a little um, fall scape underneath that uh, sticker there. That Hello Fall sticker and 
I'm sort of between these stickers here and I saw some here as well. I love this page, by the way. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Um, and then these right here, because these are really cute. So I'm not quite sure how I want to do this, and I don't want to ruin the paper. So I'm going to use some wax paper, and I'm just going to lay this over here. So that way I can kind of get an idea. So I'm not going to lay down too many stickers here. I sort of have an idea, I think, how I want this to be. I think I want to just um, kind of... Um, Put some pumpkins maybe around here. Um, you know, this one over here. So I think I feel pretty confident about what I'm going to do here. And then I think I'm going to use some of these leaves. I wasn't quite sure about how I was going to like this cover up, but I think once I add the leaves and the pumpkins around there, I think I will be um, a lot happier with this. It just sort of was throwing me off because I know I had to cover that up and I didn't really know how I wanted to do it and I figured that this would be the best way to do it, but I was sort of second guessing myself. But I think it's going to be okay. I think I'm going to go ahead with that. So let me go ahead and remove the wax paper. And then that way I can just start laying the stickers directly onto the paper. Sometimes when I'm not quite sure about the placement of things, I will not um, like press down on the sticker. So that way, um, if I do want to move it around, it comes up a little bit more easily. The other thing that I um, learned from another planner girl was um, she likes to I think um, memories in time Kim from memories in time she'll take the stickers and she'll put them on her skin to just like like absorb some of the stickiness that way um, if you do place a, a sticker down and you're not happy with it it's a lot easier for them to come up and I thought that was kind of a neat uh, tip I love this sticker. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. So this is definitely going to be going in here. Now, I was thinking about putting it in the center and then I have another one from the Wrong Wrong Seasonal that I love. I love the sticker, pumpkin spice, everything. And she is so cute. Look at her with her hat. And oh my gosh, so, so cute. So I wanted to, I thought this would be kind of like a nice, even balance here. Let's see. Take up some of the stickiness because if I don't like the way that it looks, it might come off the paper and it might tear the paper. And since this is colored paper, it'll look really obvious. So um, I want to make sure that I like it. I am loving it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put those down. And let's see. Yep, make it looks straight. Now, what I need to do is start adding in my actual 
checklist items. I have 12 items, so I figure I'll do six and six on each side, and that'll like kind of fill in nicely. So let's see what I have stickers for. I think that might be the best way to do it. So I've got carved pumpkins, and I wanna, okay, drink pumpkin spice coffee. I'm sort of jumping around all over the place. Okay, so I think I'm gonna pull the stickers for each of these, because look at how cute some of these are. Okay, so this one is really cute for drink pumpkin spice. Um, decorating pumpkin, or pumpkin decorating shop for, I think I'll use this one for Halloween costume. That's cute. And that one would be like this one here. And carving a pumpkin is this one here. Scary movie. Um, let's see. What other really cute ones? I sort of like this thankful, grateful. I'm just gonna grab it and put it to the side. So that's kind of like one in there. Now let's see what's in this one. This is the holidays one. That will. I'm gonna use all the stickers that I have uh, that I can. Ooh, did house. Hmm, that's an idea. Here we go, look at Hayride, Pumpkin Patch, Carved Pumpkins, I have that and I have it with that, although that's really cute. Hmm, you know what, I'm gonna just pull it and I'm gonna decide which one I'm going to wanna use. I love this little ghost, so cute. Pull that one too, because look at how cute that goes with that. No, I might still have to use this pumpkin spice everything. There's another one here though, so that's cute. Maybe I'll use that one instead. Hmm, okay, let's see, what do I have? Uh, so I got that one. Drink pumpkin spice coffee, decorate for Halloween. I don't really have a decorating one. Is it pumpkin patch? I have the pumpkin patch. Hot, hot apple cider, I don't have that. I wonder if I have a, maybe a box or something. Let's see. Take a drive to view fall colors. Uh, take pictures of trees changing, celebrate Halloween. Um, scary movie, I have that down here already. And the haunted house, I thought, right, right here. Okay. And the hayride, oh, I got hayride. Okay, so, let's see, I need one, two, three, four, five. I mean, celebrate Halloween could just be anything, really. I mean, Halloween, happy Halloween, Halloween party. Let's see. So I had to grab my squad stickers because I think I have some in here that I sort of forgot that I have. I really like this one. Gather. Okay, so I really didn't find any other ones that are part of my um, fall bucket list that I wrote out. So I think what I'll do is I will improvise and obviously write out what the rest of my fall bucket list will be since there are not stickers for, um, you know, certain things. But I've got some ideas here. I've got some stickers that I want to use. And I, there's definitely some of these fall, like these boxes that I also want to use with them. So now it's just sort of like, how do I want to place these down? Let's see. Sort of like this one here, and that could be for um, Thanksgiving. I'm gonna put these together. I think this is kind of cute. I 
I'm just so weird about things repeating, so maybe I can take this sticker up partially and just trim it. There we go. And then I can use this somewhere else because it's super cute. black box with this and this haunted house and this super cute ghost. I think I'm going to use these orange stickers instead of the black box. Okay, so for my uh, take a drive to view fall colors and then take pictures of trees changing, I think I'm going to use these two boxes and I'll write that in there. And I think that's really cute, like together like that. And I think since they're kind of bulky, I think in the middle would be kind of a nice balance. So I'm gonna drop that one there and kind of connect that like that. I think that's cute. Now what do I have? I've got my pumpkin spines. I've got my haunted house, that's down here. I've got um, my Thanksgiving, which I didn't even put on here, but that is the end of fall. So I have that there. Take a drive, view pictures of trees. I'm gonna put that there. And definitely have to go to a pumpkin patch. And I will use this black box. I'm just kind of deciding how I want to put this carved pumpkins together. It's like I really like this carved out face, but I just hate how big it is. I think that's the problem. So I'm liking that much better. Okay, so now let's take a look at my list here. Oh, I've got Visit Pumpkin Patch. I've got Carved Pumpkin. I don't have my Drink Hot Apple Cider yet, so I need that box. Uh, celebrate Halloween. I'm gonna. That's gonna be my Halloween party. Watch a scary movie. I have that. Pick a Halloween costume. I have that. Um, I have a hayride. Okay. So what am I missing? Decorate and then drink hot, hot apple cider. Okay. So let's see. So I'm not really liking the fact that the word wording is so close together. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just moving these over a little bit and I think I will be much happier. A little bit happier with that. And I deciding to change this up just a little bit. Oh. 
So I wasn't really happy about how everything was balanced, so I did move a couple of the items around to just create a little bit better balance. And now I have an open space down in here, and I thought it would be really cute to um, just add another, like kind of continue the fall scape down there. It's such a cute page, and I want to put it in like in a memory book. And I thought it'd be cute to add the year in here. And then I just gathered a few of these leaves. I'm just gonna kind of um, place them down here. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to write a few things in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and what I did was I wrote in the items that I did not have stickers for and I used my um, Pilot gel pens and um, in the gold and then this deep burgundy and then I just wrote in um, take a drive take pictures of changing colors of trees, and then a drink hot apple cider. So I wrote those fall bucket list items in. And the last thing I need to do now is to do this cover page. So this folds up and now it's going to go into my planner like this. However, I need to kind of create a cover page. So I um, went to the squad sticker books Squad life and squad goals, and I have them all in my sticker, my like sticker book that I made over here. So I went ahead and I pulled a few of them, and I'm gonna use this this one here, and I'm gonna use it to cover up this my brilliant ideas area. Now this one's a little bit shorter, so it's really not gonna quite fit completely across, but it will. I think it's going to work okay. It looks lined up. I'm just going to trim off that excess that is coming over. There we go. Put some of these leaves on the side to kind of cover up the white spots there. And then I found this cute sticker that says Autumn. And I found this adorable squad girl and I just thought this was so perfect because this is the squad seasonal bucket list challenge. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my planner and I'm going to put it actually uh, right in front of my October tab and I think that that would be perfect and then there it is and all I have to do is open it up and fill it out I'm really excited about this fall bucket list challenge. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I look forward to seeing any of your fall bucket lists. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if you do decide to do a fall bucket list of your own. I'd love to know about it. And if you are on Instagram, I would love to see it. 
Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any of my content. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because of course you're going to see my Instagram story on my fall bucket list and other things that I post there that you do not see here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching today. Have a great day. Bye.